Hey guys, we're in Tokyo today and wow, guess what? We are having a chat with the star of Animal Planet's number one rated series, River Monsters. And the person is none other than the amazing Jeremy Wade. Hey man, how you doing? From the world tour. So um, you've done nine seasons of River Monsters. How did you get to where you are today? How did it all start for you? In my twenties or so, I, I, I don't know. I, I just needed something a little bit different, yeah. and I saw something in a magazine about a fish in India, the, the Marcia fish in a India. Magazine. Yeah. So I think so. What I did, I, I, I ended up. I, I went to. I went to India. I caught some Marcia up to about sort of uh, eight or nine kilos, something like that. And that's just for starters. Yeah, and I, and I, and I started. I started writing about it, and then I spent about twenty-five years. Oh, not all the time, but travelling to different places, right. um, writing articles, um, and, and I'm thinking, a lot of these things I'm, I'm seeing, a lot of these fish, yeah. I've never seen them on TV, you know, why, why isn't there a TV program? But, I mean, how, how, do, how, do you, how, do you, how do you get a, get a TV program? And, and um, cutting a long story short, <laughs> um, I ended up doing a TV program about the, 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 the Gooch catfish in, in India. This right. is the one that you have a very ugly catfish. Yes. Uh, tentacles on, That's its, right. on its mouth, on its back. Very everywhere. rare, very hard to catch. Yeah, and, I, and um, we thought that was going to be just one program. Oh! And, and then Animal Planet came back and they said, you know, we really like that. Are, are there any more stories like that? Uh, and at the time I thought, that, you know, there's nothing quite like that. But we found. We found another half a dozen, so we, 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 did, we did one season, and then they went, well, what, can you do some more? And, and every every year I thought, no, we're just doing it one more year, and it just keeps going, <laughs> one more year, one more year, one more year, one more year. That's usually the case with good things, right? So, yeah, so, so I, I am really surprised to be still doing this. Uh, these people who watch your show, uh, they see you going out to all these incredibly wild places, and you're catching like crazy humongous monsters and they'd be like hey wait a minute that's not work that's fun i want to quit my job and do what he does yeah so let's just tell them shall we yeah. how hard how easy is it to do what you do well i think i think the important thing is, is, is you know, nobody is doing quite the same thing that i'm doing yep. um, and the thing is it's not just about catching the fish it's constructing the whole you know it's the whole story around it each episode is, is a bit like a mini feature film day, if you, if you get to take two or three minutes of, of, of finished footage, you're, you're, you're doing well. That would be a good yeah. thing, yeah. And, um, and there's a lot of pressure, because basically, if we don't catch a fish, we don't have a program. Tell me about it. And, <laughs> and so, so <laughs> yeah. the question for me is, am I fishing effectively? I, I, I've been here a couple of hours, I've not, I've not caught anything. Yeah. Do I change my approach, or, or is it just, you know, do I just need to give it more time? And you just keep wondering. And so it's con you're constantly yeah, thinking, thinking, yeah. thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, So it's, you know, it, it is fun as well, but it's not the same as, as just for relaxation. You know, it's, it's not relaxation most of the time. Yeah, well, okay. I'm just going to say I cannot quit my job and do what you do. Because that sounds like a whole lot of blood, sweat, and not enough time to spend with my cats. Right. So but, I, but I will say this. Has uh, created quite a legacy for you. Yeah. Uh, River Monsters from 2009 to 2017, and right after that, Mighty Rivers, all in the bag. And hey, this year, we've got a, another big one on the line Jeremy Wade's Dark Waters. Tell us about this new series. Right. Um, it, it comes out of River Monsters. It's, it, you know, it is a natural continuation of that. Like a spin off. Yeah, um, and it's it, but, it, but it is a bit different. And um, so, River Monsters, as, as regular viewers know, mm -hmm. was a bit you know it's a, it's a detective story. It's, it's almost like a murder mystery. Wow. Yeah. Um, there's always a story at the beginning where somebody, um, maybe somebody swimming in the water, something bites their leg or something pulls them under. And so you know you hear this story. Maybe the story has been. Still, fishermen's stories they change a bit. One person tells somebody else, Obviously, tells somebody else. Yes. maybe they exaggerate or whatever. Yeah, but right. some, you know, something happened. Yeah. And, and, and I come along, and, and what, I, what I'm trying to do is, is okay, is, 
is this story complete fantasy or is there is there a real animal somewhere in here that is responsible for that no I've, I've heard about different fish different creatures different places and you know they're things i really want to investigate but they don't quite fit that river monsters format right nobody died nobody had their, <laughs> nobody had their leg bitten off but yeah. you know, it's something but it still sounds like there's a really cool creature that lives in this particular right. place yeah yeah and so what dark waters is doing um I think I would describe them as like biological mysteries. Dark Waters enables me to open things up and, and go for different kinds of stories, show different creatures that we haven't shown before, different places, mm -hmm. but still with that sort of mystery element. Do you think this could be as big as River Monsters, you know, like 10 years in the running? Would you be up for that? Well, put it this way, if, if somebody asked, if somebody had asked me right at the beginning of River Monsters, do you think you'll be doing this for 10 years? I would say no, <laughs> you know, maybe maybe 10 weeks or 10 years. And, and yet here you and are. And here I am. So, um, so I, you know, I have the benefit of a little hindsight now. So I, my immediate my immediate reaction would be to say no, yeah. but who knows? I mean, like fishing, you know, what is nice is, you know, there, there is no certainty. You can always yes. be surprised. It's always mysterious, yeah. like dark waters. Yeah. Thank you very much for doing this with the Sun Daily. Fantastic. I wish you good fortune in the waters to come. Thank you very much. So we've been fishing for a whole day with the legend Jeremy Wade and even with him around we didn't catch anything this time as it happens on some fishing trips. But don't miss his latest series Jeremy Wade's Dark Waters only on Animal Planet. Remember guys always keep your lines tight and your spirits loose. For the Sun Daily on location in Tokyo I'm Trevor Leon.